Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Aubrey. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to go through what I got through this past week for my home fragrance empties. It's not a lot. So I'm going to do a little story time. I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet, but whatever, who cares? So, you know, I put out a few weeks ago that I was doing a no buy for my wax. And then I just started thinking about other things in my life. The other thing in my life being my garage. So my car, yeah, I live in a home. I have a garage and you know, most people park their cars in a garage, right? Not this girl. I have so much stuff. We'll just call it stuff that for like, I don't know, the last five, seven years, my car has been parked in the driveway because I can't get my car in my garage. So we had a <clears throat> garage sale this weekend and we got rid of a ton of stuff. Some stuff we sold, some stuff I just put out on the sidewalk and I said, free, come take it. Some stuff we threw away and guess what guys? My car is parked in my garage and I'm super excited about it. Now it's not perfect. You know how when you want to put on a really tight fitting pair of jeans and you like lay on the bed and you get as flat as you can and you just with you use all your might to zip up that zipper. That's kind of what I look like when I'm getting out of my car. I can open the door just enough to like squeeze out. <laughs> and then squeeze out to my driveway. So I still have a lot of work to do, but my car is in my garage. So I'm gonna keep going forward with this getting rid of excess in my life because I think when I get it done, I'm just gonna feel so much better. So yeah, that was my little story time. So now we will talk about what I got through this month. So here's my basket. And then I will share with you what I'm adding to the October melting basket to give away at the end of October. Um, it's not gonna be a lot this month because I am currently putting together three friend mail packages. So I am trying to focus on filling those boxes right now, but I still want to continue to do my basket. So um, today we have retail, we have Scentsy, and we have vendor. So we will start with the retail. So the first thing that we got through was hand soap from Bath and Body Works, and this is champagne, apple, and honey. And the notes on this are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey really really enjoyed this this is just like a perfect september scent so september i'm all about the apples and then in yeah september i'm all about apples and then october i kind of dive into pumpkin so that's what i have for retail i think that's the only thing so for Cincy, and I know this is not seasonally appropriate at all, but I finished this up and I wanted to get it out of my collection. So this is the bathroom cleaner from Cincy and this is in the scent Blue Grotto. And I really, really like the cleaning products from Cincy. They just, they smell really good. Um, I am trying to use up my stash because as you guys have seen, I've started making some of my own all-purpose cleaners and I really want to 
use those type of items more and then just put these in to my rotation every once in a while because I do like when you're cleaning and everything smells really good. It just kind of gives you that kick that you need to keep going. But I will tell you, so if you see this, this is the like sprayer on the all purpose. I do not use this sprayer. This sprayer, it comes out like foamy, but I've been told that you use more product. So I actually use the sprayers from the counter clean and I have a couple of extra ones of those. So I don't use this particular sprayer, but if you like that kind of foamy, um, cleaning experience when your stuff comes out foamy um these spray bottles do that and they do it very great so i think oh no but i have some more sensi okay i mean when i say i need to get through my stash any of you who are sensi consultants when you see this you're gonna be like oh my god that's like two or three years old Yes, this is maple apple bourbon hand soap, which is juicy red apples, rich maple, and a splash of bourbon from Scentsy. This is not my favorite scent. I mean, it's okay. Like, it's definitely, you get that apple and you get that maple. Like, this is strong on the maple. And I'm not like a huge maple person. So, but if you like maple scents, I don't think that this, I'm not sure if this scent is available anymore, but I got through it and now I'm getting it out of my collection. So happy for that. Then I got through a pod in aloe water and cucumber. So these are just like, if you, you're not familiar, they're like scent beads. I don't know if you can see them in there. And since he does make like fan diffusers that you can use these in, I don't, I don't use them that much. I prefer wax. Um, I do use these in my car in the summertime, but during the winter, I just stick these in my garbage cans and then I just replace them once a month. So got through aloe water and cucumber in the Scentsy pod. Then I just had a little sample. It doesn't even have a label on it, but this was Arctic Kiss. Oh, Arctic Kiss is so good. It's just, um, kind of like minty marshmallow florally kind of scent it's hard to describe but it's really pretty and I know it was coming back to the catalog and I had just one little piece and I was like okay I, I want to make sure that if I'm going to get some more um that I remembered that I liked it and I was pretty sure that I liked it but I just wanted to make sure. And then last for Scentsy, because like I said, you guys, I am in this mode of getting rid of the excess in my house. I had a bunch of samples in Pretty and Plaid from Scentsy. So I just threw them in my warmer and my house smelled like Christmas. Pretty and Plaid is no longer available in the catalog. And I'm like, why? Why am I sitting on these samples that you can no longer get? I need to get it out of my house. So I did. Okay, then for vendor. So I only have a couple. So I will share the two that I emptied. And then I'll show you the two partials. Um... One is going to be going to a friend and one is going in the basket. So the first one that I got through, this was gifted to me from Dai. Um, this is Otako Scents. And I think the notes are on the inside. So this 
is C yeah I can't really see the scent notes on this but you guys this was super aquatic and fresh and I did this in a tea light here in my in my office space it went for two days and you know it's interesting because there were a couple of otako scents that went around in the last round robin that i participated in and everybody kept skipping it and passing it along and i'm like oh my god you guys need to take the otako scents because they were they perform very very well the consistency is a little weird it's soft it's a very soft wax oh but this was so good so when i get off my no buy I will definitely be repurchasing, repurchasing this. Not only was it a great scent, but it lasted for two days. I mean, vendor wax, that's amazing. Then we got through Ghost Ship from Britta's Creepy Treasures. And this is Pink Lemonade Pear and Champagne Toast. You guys, this was so good. So... I had been melting, and you'll see it next week in my empties, like every scent that I was melting from Brita's had patchouli in it. And at one point, I'm like, all of Brita's wax smells the same. So I started digging through my collection, and I started pulling out some different things, and I found this one, and I was like, this was beautiful. Like you could smell that lamp, that lemonade and, and the pear and it had just a slight little bit of like that fizzy scent. And I absolutely love this. Right now, you guys, I have going in my house, Leatherface from Brita's. Talk about holy moly strong. Like I can smell it throughout my entire house. And I just have it in one warmer over here. You can't see it. It's like taking over my house and it's super strong leather and I absolutely love it. So, okay. So the last two items that I have, so I am sending this to Shijo for her to try. This is Apple Rings from Nerdy Wax Company. So, I'm struggling with this vendor. I, I have a few things left on cold. Like it smells just like Apple Jacks, you know, the, the cereal. But when I put in my warmers, I just, I get nothing. Um, and I even put in a tea light cause I was like, okay, maybe it just needs an extra oomph. And so, don't worry, Shijo, if you're watching this, I'm not sending you a bunch. I just want to send you a couple pieces to see if I'm the only one that's not getting performance from it. And then the last thing that we have, this one I got from the last round robin. And this is Poor Man's Pudding from Super Tarts. Cinnamon bread pudding, sugar cookie dough, nutmeg, vanilla cream. I don't think that I like bread pudding. I just can't do this. And this is super strong. Like, super strong. To me... You guys, it smells like poop. I know. I know that is awful, awful to say. But yeah, this just has a weird, like, maybe it's baby poop. I don't know. But to my nose, this does not work for me. So I'm going to put this in the October melting basket so someone else can enjoy it. And maybe someone will enjoy it more than I am. 
So that is all that I got through in this past week. Like I said, it was a busy week. I started kind of focusing on some other things and areas in my life. And I wasn't just quite focused on my wax this past week. And it feels good. It just feels good to get my space back and to be able to breathe and to get my car in my garage. I mean, how exciting is that? So that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you for taking some time to see what I got through this past week. And um, I am going to do on Wednesday a review of Above Love co candle i did burn one of their candles so i'm going to share with you guys my thoughts on that and then friday i'm hoping to get back to my essential oil series so we'll see like that's my that's my goal I'm trying to stick to it so um if you guys like this type of content and you're not subscribed i would love if you would subscribe to the channel and if you hit the notification button, then you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And I hope that you guys all have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.